A year ago, I talked about the seemingly impossible task of building a 60 miles per hour capable electric unicycle. But all that changed this week when Emotion dropped a video on their latest model, the V13. This, my friend, is finally an electric unicycle motor powerful enough to propel a rider to 60 miles per hour and perhaps even beyond that. And I'm gonna tell you what it all means and why some people in the community aren't actually happy to hear about it. Are you ready for the next evolution of electric unicycles? Road and draw. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and help spread the uni gospel. Men have always been fascinated by speed. As long as they were motorized vehicles, they were races, and while format and rules may differ, the one constant is always simply that whomever finished the fastest, win. A fact so ingrained in our mind that for many motorized vehicles, speed equates quality. The reason why Ferrari, Porsche cost as much as they do and also why the 3 ton hotel on a wheel Rolls Royce Phantom runs an engine large enough to push it to 155 miles per hour. Any enthusiast would always be able to tell you who make the fastest wheel and regardless of how you feel about it, speed sells. There was a point in the not too distant past when electric unicycle was novel and it was all that manufacturer could do to build a wheel that could maintain a running pace without cutting out. But as companies experiment with ever higher voltage to power ever larger and more powerful motor, speed began to rise and people start to take notice. And one company, Gateway, took full advantage of this combination and carved out a niche all for itself. Specializing in high-speed wheels with robust engineering and lesser safety constraints for the daredevils who want the fastest wheel irregardless of risk. And for a time, the other companies were content with slower but what was perceived as safer wheels. All of that changed when a brand new company, Veteran, enters the market selling a competing high-performance electric unicycle, the Sherman. And although in truth that the veteran Sherman is no faster than the fastest Gotway wheel because it brought many improvements and upgrades to problems that Gotway fans had long complained about, it was a better design wheel with a much better ride. It garners praises and positive reviews throughout the YouTube EUC circuit. And then it went viral. Like really, really viral. Something that no other unicycle ever did before. For the first time, the public at large saw the thing that EUC enthusiasts had knew all along. Which is that despite having only a single wheel, electric unicycle is actually one of the fastest lightweight electric vehicle you can ride. And unlike electric scooter where 90% of the market consists of smaller and slower models, because of the significantly steeper bar of entry, both in terms of skills and cost, a much larger segment of the UC market seems to gravitate towards the higher cost and higher performance electric unicycles. With the nearly $4,000 veteran Sherman now one of the most popular and sought after wheel. That is the story of the dramatic shift that have taken place in the last 12 months in a nutshell where high-speed EUC was viewed as risky and fringe before. Now every single manufacturers are all competing to build the biggest and fastest electric unicycle. Which strangely isn't what a lot of the most hardcore EUC rider actually says that they want. If you visit any EUC forums or chat, you'll hear plenty of grumbling about the new wheels getting getting way too large and heavy to handle, and some even blame YouTuber like me for leading the companies astray with my inflammatory videos. But the truth is that EUC companies will build what sells, and for the moment it certainly appears to be whatever is the fastest wheel, and the race all started with the announcement of the Kingsong S22 last June. The very first 126 volt electric unicycle with a free spin speed of 65 miles per hour, matching that of the prior speed champ 
with the Gotway Monster Pro and promises to be the fastest suspension electric unicycle ever. By the way, if you're not familiar with free spin speed, let me explain. Self-balancing vehicle technically have no speed limit. When you lean forward, the only way an electric unicycle can maintain balance is by acceleration. Like this tripod, the only way for the wheel to maintain balance is that if it accelerate and keep up. But power isn't infinite and there's a hard limitation to all electrical systems. And as a result, every single electric unicycle have a max spin speed, which is how fast it will actually go with zero load are the maximum speed the wheel will hit if you simply lift up the wheel and let it reach its maximum speed before cutout. Now there's no way even the lightest rider can achieve anything close to what the no low free spin speed is, but it does give some indication of what the maximum ride speed a wheel can achieve if we account for the headroom. Which is the difference between free spin speed and the maximum speed the manufacturer suggests the wheel can be ridden at and usually range from 15 to 20 miles per hour. There are various ways the wheel would communicate the limit to a rider. The more conservative companies like Emotion or Kingsong utilize pedal tilt back with various levels of aggressiveness. While other companies like Veteran or Gotway Bego rely on audible warning, i.e. high-pitched beats. I say suggest since the rider can usually ignore these warning and continue to lean and accelerate until they exceed the voltage safety limit on the controller itself at which point the wheel shuts off and we have a cutout which unfortunately is usually catastrophic the speed warning for the S22 was set at 45 miles per hour, equal that of the current crop of fast wheel like the veteran Sherman, the Go Commander, and of course the Monster Pro. But the S22 has a leg up since it also carries the Gen 2 iteration of the well-loved Kingston suspension system, so its announcement garnered plenty of attention and the hype train began to build. And in January of this year, Gotway Bego fed up and been upstaged by other EUC company in the high performance market that they used to own, finally released their next evolution in the high speed wheel in the form of the 134 volt master and kick things off with the free spin demo of their prototype at 70 miles per hour by their past releases where they typically limit their wheel to 15 below that translated to a top speed of 55 miles per hour 10 miles an hour faster than the fastest electric unicycle you can buy the monster pro and predictably the internet goes nuts you see, up until this point, Gotway Bego had been in the doghouse because of a series of wheel fire combined with a long running list of complaints about build quality and engineering safety. Bad enough that Adam from Runway, one of the largest YouTube channels on electric unicycle, actually took all of his Gotway videos offline in protest. But with the introduction of a faster wheel, all is forgiven and pre ordered exploded for the master as enthusiasts once again lined up around the block with cash in hand for the latest and fastest. Now it's been a few months and we have had a bit more time to get a better look at the Bego Master and it's true that both in terms of build quality and engineering it had improved significantly as compared to past wheels but I also have no doubt that if it weren't for the fact that the Master is now the fastest electric unicycle you can buy on the market, few riders would have access actually cared. The EX20S for instance received little interest and let's not even talk about the hero. Boring. Finally we have Emotion, the largest and most conservative EUC company who until a year ago had largely resisted the shift towards faster wheels and their change is likely the most dramatic off than all. Starting with the release of the V12, their first 100 volt wheel last year.
with a 60 miles per hour free spin speed and although it fell slightly short on the speed chart, in motion was just getting started and in public interview, Charles, their CEO, committed to building the fastest electric unicycle and for a while, the question was that if he had meant the fastest in motion or if he had actually meant to challenge the Gotway but go high performance supremacy. But with this latest video announcement, there can be no more doubt. An 86 miles per hour free spin, even factoring in a conservative 20 miles per hour headroom, will still give you a top speed of 61 miles per hour. This is it. The era of the 60 miles per hour electric unicycle, that which I wasn't even sure was possible a year ago, is actually here. But before we celebrate, there are some practical concerns. With performance comes size and weight. With the announced 3 kilowatt battery packs, the V13 Challenger will likely come in above the 100 pound mark. And given the higher power consumption rate of that larger motor and at 126 volt, the wrench would also likely suffer, especially if you want to take advantage of set speed. Then there is what it means to ride a unicycle at what is essentially highway speed. And with the exponential increasing wind force and the generally terrible arrow of an electric unicycle rider, would someone actually be able to exert enough forward lean to propel the wheel forward at 60 miles per hour? For example, I rig up this little experiment with a luggage scale and a length of strap over my shoulder to see exactly how much lean force I can actually exert. Try as I may, I wasn't able to really pull much past 60 pounds. That is barely enough force to offset the pushback from wind alone. And we are in unknown territory here. Chinese EUC companies are known to hire ride testers where there isn't a large EUC ridership currently. So when we, the EUC YouTuber, get a prototype wheels to try, we're often both the guinea pig and crash test dummies combined. And as wheel speed continues to rise, it begins to exceed the risk tolerance for most riders, including us. I've seen very few examples of people actually pushing the Bagol Master to its maximum speed of 55 miles per hour. I know of only a single instance so far. Truth is that none of us really know, so I guess we'll find out when the V13 actually land. And knowing the many daredevil we have in the community, I have no doubt that someone will certainly try. But more importantly, the announcement of the V13 puts all the other EUC companies on notice. Gotway Bago once again lost their title to the fastest wheel on the market after having only enjoyed it for six months with the master. And any other high performance electric unicycle more than six months old, including the Sherman Max and the Kingston S22, just got knocked down a tier at least when it comes to speed. And yes, we all have to acknowledge how far EUC have come in such little time. But it is also why I think that it is the most dynamic and interesting electric rideable segment, in my opinion. It is true that high performance electric scooter is still faster, but I wonder how long the lead will last. So what do you think? Is the race for ever larger and faster electric unicycle herald the future of our sports? Or will the additional risk of death and destruction inevitable lead to getting us banned, man? Well, that is what the comment section below is for. And you know what? Aha! I somehow managed to trick you into wasting another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. 
shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love Electric Unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheel is to grow as a community. So tell your friend, teach him how to ride and get it hooked. Until the next video, thank you.